Hi, welcome to the Click Clack Shop. How can I help? Okay, so, if I understand, uh, you're totally new to all this, yeah? Okay, but you're gonna be playing with your friend, okay? So is your friend gonna be your GM? You don't know, no, it's okay. No, that's fine. Um, actually, I get a lot of people in here that are like, what's the click clack shop? And they don't know what they're looking at, so I'm kind of used to going through the whole thing with everyone. If you don't mind, I, I can kind of explain a little bit about what's in store for you and then maybe you can leave with some new goodies and be a little bit more prepared for your game with your friend. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. So, do you play any video games or board games? Yeah, okay. So, we are going to be doing something kind of similar. A lot of the mechanics are the same, however, instead of looking at a screen, or using a board and game pieces, you'll be using your paper, your pencil, some dice, and your imagination. It's a lot of fun, and your friend, who's probably going to be your GM, you're not sure, is going to be your guide into this wonderful world. They're going to be setting the scene for you, telling you what's going on, and maybe what you're fighting. Okay, so you've played, like, computer RPGs? Yeah, so, same kind of role-playing premise, except this gets a little more into the role-playing aspect of it, especially when you're with friends and you get really into your character. You find yourself, like, thinking, hmm, what would my character do? Yeah, it sounds nerdy, but it's a lot of fun. I think you're gonna probably have a lot of fun with them. So, let me see. Uh, do you know what system you're playing? That's fine. No, that's okay. Most people who are beginners wouldn't know that either. Um, well, uh, your friend probably is going to have your character sheet and a lot of other printables and stuff for you, but um, if you don't have them and if they don't have enough, you're always welcome to come back here. Um, printables is something we do, so you can just tell me like what the game is that you're playing the system and I can get that all printed out for you, no charge or anything. Alright, but for today, you're probably going to need some dice. Yeah, okay, you're probably, <laughs> you're thinking of like regular, hold on, actually I have some, hold on. These are my personal dice. Let me guess, you were thinking of something like this, no? Yeah, the classic six-sided black and white dice probably came in like a kid's game. Yeah. Well, actually, this is still quite important. This is called a D6 because it's got six sides to it, but we're actually going to be working with a few more wacky dice characters. And, um, well, let me just say that this one is pretty boring. <laughs> they do get a lot better looking than this. So you've got your d6, and of course, when you roll it, you're gonna get a result somewhere between 1 and 6. But, we do have some others. In fact, we have one lower than 6. That is this fun little guy here. Little pyramid-shaped one, and this is a D4, because we only have the four sides. One, two, three, four, and when you roll it, ba -ba 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 -ba, you just read the number that's on the bottom. So here, that will be four, 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 or if I flip it, two, two, two. It's just a four-sided die. Yeah. I think this was a, it's a very interesting looking one, yeah? Wouldn't you agree? And, so there's the d4, the d6, we also have, where are you, the d8, yep, an eight-sided die, and it's just like two d4s stacked on top of each other to make the eight-sided 
So have. Can you guess what's next? Yeah, <laughs> the D10. Yeah, so this one. Let's see. One, two. Oh, this one is so old. Don't worry. The one that I sell in the shop are much better. These are just my personal dice that have got some wear and tear. There's some carbons growing on this thing. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you'll see that the six is marked so that you can tell which one is six, which one is nine, otherwise, it might get a little confusing. This one is usually used in conjunction with another die that I'll show you in a bit. So, you're gonna see there's a lot of different <laughs> options, there's a whole world of dice out there. So, you probably guess the next one after D10 is the D12. Oh, I love this one because look, we started getting a lot more facets to the die and I think that's just so interesting looking. So, here's the 6 marked with the little dot. Here's the 9 marked with the little dot. Go all the way up to number 12. So this is the D12. Yeah. See, this one is yellow with black stamped ink. A little more interesting than black and white. And then, that one's not very pretty, hold on, let me find a better looking one. We have the famous D20. It's a lot like the D12, it's just got even more facets. Obviously going all the way up to 20. There you go, yeah. So this one is a lot of fun to roll, in my opinion, yeah. See, the reason why you would be having so many extra options is because the options are going to dictate how well you do in the game. So, for example, maybe you're fighting someone and they tell you to roll the d20, for example, and maybe one through five is a failure. You didn't do well at all. Five to six through ten is a slight success. You do a little bit of damage and you can go up 11 through 15, 16 through 20 and so on. So you've got different percent chances of succeeding or failing. It's up to the game, up to the GM. So this is why you need a lot more than just six options. No. Yeah. And I also... There's also one more that I don't have any in that bag for some reason, but I can I can show you here with this set. This is one of our sets for sale, and this is Jessex dice. Jessex are kind of a just a standard in the game RPG world. I think at some point everyone has a pair of Jessex dice, and this is a really pretty set. In the black with the red stamped ink. It's hard to get it. I'll just pop it open and show you, because I know there's one in here. Here's the D20. Here we go. This is the D100, and I know you might be thinking, oh my gosh, that's a lot of facets to a die. No worry, it's actually a lot like the D10. It's exactly like the D10, except instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Have a look here. See? Just got all the different numbers. So what you would do is you would use this one often to roll with the D10. And then you could go roll, roll, roll. And then let's see. Landed on 85. So there we go. Now I've got 85 instead of just 5. Or 80, so you can use them together to get any combination from like, well, 11, I suppose. <laughs> oh no, sorry, it's got 0, 0 instead of 100, yeah, so from 1 to 99, yeah, okay. So this comes in a set, and if you bought this set, it would have everything you need, the D10, the D100, the D20, as I showed you, it's also got 
and a little d4, the d8, the d12, and there's your classic d6. This would have everything you need. Of course, if you are doing a different system, they might require uh, more of a certain dice. For example, if you're playing a um, dungeon world, uh, you're going to need some more d6s because you typically would roll two d6s. So that's why it might help to know what you're playing. Okay, so you and your partner are going to be playing. Alright, well we could get you two set of dice today, that's no problem. Um, I'm sure they won't mind if you pick it out for them. So yeah, this is, um, this is a Chessex, black and red, and it does come in, in this kind of little case. So you can store them and look at them, you could even use it as a, um, like a dice shaking thing. <laughs> so that's that set. If you do find that you need more D6s specifically, you could pick up a pack like this. This is a set of eight D6s, also by Chessex. And these are a little more pretty, a little more stylized. They have a sort of a blue marble effect with gold. Now they're not, they don't have a number stamped on them, they do just have the dot digits. So, some people might find that more clear, some might prefer just, you know, numeral number. Um, yeah. Now, if you do find that you like something a little bit prettier to look at, I do have a few options for you. And, um, and these sets do actually come in these little bags, so it keeps your dice nice and safe, and I think that's really great. Um, and this is made by Adventures Woodworks, their specialty dice shop. They make and pour their own dice, so if you find that they're a little bit prettier to look at, a little bit more expensive than the Chessex dice, but sometimes you want something a little bit shinier to look at. No. So this set is called Mystic Fox, and it is a glittery swirl of um, white, orange, and purple. This would be the D12. Let me just get out all the here. Okay, so um, this one is the Mystic Fox. Here we have the. Can you see how glittery they are? Yeah. It's the D8. We've got D100 and D10. And of course, the 12 and the 20. And they roll really well. I won't roll them for you because they'd be pretty loud, but what do you think? You like a uh, mystic box? Yes, the glitter is great, isn't it? I also love it. Dice make such a great sound, don't they? <laughs> yeah, so, you like Mystic Fox. I do have one more um, by Adventures Will Works in stock right now, but if you have a look on our website, you can actually order more and we'll ship them to the store. But this was um, Mystic Fox. I also have. This one is Pastel Princess. I love this one because they look a little bit like gemstones to me. So these are clear, sorry, opaque, not clear, the opposite. Um, 
opaque color, just like a white with little bits of blue and kind of a pinky purple stamped in gold ink for a lovely gemstone kind of look. Yeah, let me give you a closer look. Yeah, here's Pastel Princess. Very different look from Mystic Fox. Well, for one, you don't have any of the sparkles, but you do have this lovely gold stamped lettering that I'm quite a fan of. It's nice and it's big and clear to read. Too. I actually I got a set for myself because I was so jealous of other people getting to take them home. So I've kind of shown you like a low range option and a mid range option. I know you're new, but let me just show you something that we just got in, and these are going to be the high range option. I'm not turning them sell you on anything. I'm not trying to push you, but they're just so pretty. I think you might want to have a look. And look at this. They even come in this little glass bottle. Like a little cork on the top with a... What's this called? A seal? Wax seal? Yeah. So these are from Dicebound. They're another custom dice creator. And this is the color Andromeda. This is Andromeda. And these are gorgeous. So you might notice, let me take one out and show you, that these are sharp edged dice. Whereas you might notice with the other sets I've shown you, they've had kind of rounded beveled edges a little bit. But these, and you can really tell with the D6. These edges are razor sharp. Actually, you could probably hurt yourself, but don't worry, they're not like glass sharp. So these are poured resin, like the others, but then they have also been filed, sanded down individually. So Andromeda has got like teal with purple and like silver shiny inclusions. And the font, I think, is nice and big and legible, easily readable, and it's in silver. So we just got these in, and I am in love. They are a little more pricey, but they are individually made, so you're getting really good craftsmanship, I think. And these would come with the whole set from D4 to D100. Beautiful. Do you want to have a closer look? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Oh my gosh, these are just so great. So these dice are significantly um, bigger. Especially, you can see here with the D4. Quite a sizable piece. I think that helps, maybe. Have something a little more tactile to hold and to roll. So, again, this one is called Andromeda. And can you see these gorgeous inclusions? How shiny it is. They just dazzle. And then one thing you'll see is that, like here with the D20, there we go. Instead of a. Um, is it over that one? Or 20? Ah, yeah, for 20. You've got their little logo, which is a little moon and a star. So that's real special. 
So, you know, if you get the moon and the star, you got the 20, which is usually going to be the best roll. Let me turn my light off so you can see it without. Just in regular lighting. Here's the D20. These just sparkle in the light. So beautiful. And the Bellatrix actually is unique in that it will glow under UV light. I don't have any in the store, sorry. Uh, but, you know, if you took them home and you had a UV light, You'd be able to see them glow for yourself. Yeah, let me show you up close. Bellatrix. Oh, yes. Colors in this one are just amazing. I think this is my personal favorite dice set of all the dice we carry. And again, you see here on the D20. They are so sharp. Gotta be kind of careful. You probably want to keep these away from kids. They might look a bit like a toy, something to eat, candy. They do look a bit like you want to eat them. Let me turn my light off. I think it's hard to capture the colors in this lighting, but uh, you do have the blues and the purples. And then I do also have, let me pick these up, hold on, I do also have um, a couple of two other sets, but we don't have the full set set, so we just have these two D6s to show you. This one is clear, which we enjoy, you can see, and it's going to have like these crystally white inclusions in them. With the silver stamped lettering like they all do. And 
so let me get order the full sets and for you if you like this one's a clear but it's also got a little bit of pink swirled in there as you can see they both have the line under the six And they are so perfectly formed that you can see they are the exact same size. Sand it down and sharpened perfectly. Excellent craftsmanship. Oh, you like the Bellatrix? Yeah, well, I don't blame you. And, um, and as I showed you, we do have these extra two D6s. Um, don't have the full set in yet, however, if you decided that you were interested in one of these sharp-edged dice sets from Dicebound, uh, in one of these colors, we could order you these, yeah. So, now that I'm giving you my whole dice bill, I know, you don't even know about this whole world, right? It's like a thousand more things to spend your money on. <laughs> I know, yeah. My uh, wallet has never recovered from the moment I discovered fun colored dice. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So, you want to get both of these? This one for you and for your partner. I think that's, that's a great idea, yeah. While the sharp edge sets are nice, they are a little pricey and you are just starting out now, of course. If a few months down the line, you decide that you would like some pretty shiny clickety clacks, come right back and I'll get them for you. Alright, so they are going to come in these bags. Would you like different colors? Alright, that's fine. I don't care too much either. Now let me just ask, are you just, would you like to just get dice today? I could also get you a dice, um, sorry, he's not part of the dice. I could also get you a dice tray, and this is just something that you could roll your dice in. So you've, you've got the lip edges to catch the dice, so this way they don't roll right off the table or something. Okay, yeah, he, he probably does have something like this already, that's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Here are your dice. Yeah. Well, I thank you so much for coming in today. I hope you learned a little bit, and I hope you have a great time with your friend. I think you're going to. But be sure and come back once you've learned a little bit more. We've got so many more accoutrements to get you going in your whole RPG career. Yes, welcome to the club. And if you want to come back, as you see, we're selling a lot of board games as well. So if you decide you'd like to get into the world of board games, which is a whole other world, my friend, let me tell you. <laughs> come back where you shop. Yeah, alright. You have a great day. It's good to meet you. Okay. Bye. <laughs>